Good afternoon, everyone. It's Christical, Ugly Duckling Master Educator. So I just wanted to pop on real quick to talk to you guys a little bit about our matte top coat. There have um, been a few concerns lately with our matte top coat in regards to it not looking as matte as it once did before. And we have had a couple questions um, from our customers whether or not we have changed our formula because they're not getting the same results. And good news, we have not changed the formulation for our matte top coat. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about how you can make sure that your nails are always looking matte. Hello everyone, welcome, hi. I hope everyone's doing good. So with our matte top coat, what happens is if the polish bottle is sitting for too long, the matte pigment will settle. So with any certain kinds of gels, you will need to stir or shake the bottle itself. So if you're finding that your matte top coat is not looking matte, then just really give it a good shake so that all that pigment can be mixed again. And then of course, um, there were concerns that it was changed, the formulation, because they noticed the viscosity was a bit thinner. But we definitely do find, depending on the temperature, if it's cooler in the wintertime, warmer in the summertime, the viscosity will change slightly. So that is nothing to worry about. So basically, I just want to come on, do a little swatch, and I want to compare our matte with our no white so you guys can really see how matte our top coat is. And the beauty thing with the matte is that, you know, your customers leave with their nails matte and they return with their nails matte, which is wonderful. Our matte does not absorb any oils or lotions, hand cream. You can just rub it off and it's back to matte, which is awesome. So I'm gonna just do a couple swatches here. I'm gonna use our one of our new colors from our Summer Release Gel Polish Colors, and it is 171. This is one of my favorites, this pretty blue. And I'm just gonna polish them together, and then I'm gonna do one with no wipe and one with matte. The tips that I'm using right now to swatch are actually our tapered square um, tippies, tips, which are our full coverage tips. So I'm just applying a very, very thin layer of our gel polish. A little goes a long way. And I might not have attached that too well to the uh, tack, so I've got to be careful with that one. And I'm going to do a full cure for 60 seconds, really making sure to cure for the full recommended time in between coats. If you're finding that your gel polish is wrinkling, it's because you have applied the polish too thick. Now typically, I didn't, I didn't buff these ones down because it's no big deal, I'm just doing a swatch here, but making sure when you are applying gel polish over an enhancement, whether it's gel, acrylic, acrogel, to really make sure that you have that nail prepped, not too smooth. We recommend 180 grit if you're using a hand file or a medium sandy band. Prior to gel polish application, this is really going to help that polish adhere to the enhancement. Okay, everyone, I'm just taking a look at the comments as I'm curing. It's hard to see all of them because my claw is actually covering half of them. So I apologize if I miss anything. This live will be saved as well. And we will upload all of my live videos to our uh, YouTube channel, which is Ugly Duckly Nails. So if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd appreciate it if you do. So this one, I'm just going to, the tack kind of, sometimes if it's too dry, it doesn't really stick that well. So I'm just going to press down a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in and do one more coat. I'm not 
sure if it really depends. I know I know a lot of us haven't been working a whole lot, obviously, in the last few months, and everyone's just kind of getting back to work now. But I'm always curious to know what people choose for top coat. If they prefer using a no wipe top coat, high shine, or if they like to use a matte top coat. What's everyone's favorite? For me, I would probably say I prefer shiny because I like anything that sparkles. So depending on what colors I'm using, if it's a gel polish sparkle or any glitter inlays, I love the no white because it's so shiny and it really shows the beauty of all that sparkle. So if I got any extra, just wipe it off. So we're doing a full cure for 60 seconds on both. Okay. So with our top coats, they all have different colored crystals on the top. So our matte is black and our no wipe is kind of a beautiful soft charcoal gray, I would say. So I want to make sure that is fully, fully cured before I put my top coat on. And that's a great thing too with our matte, depending on what nail art techniques you're using or certain colors. I find using a matte over a sparkly color or thicker glitters really changes the look and the consistency of it, which really kind of is a cool look. It gives it more of that textured look, in my opinion. Okay, so let's do, this one does not want to stay on. So give me a second. I'm just going to kind of switch it here. So I am just using our crystal tip display. We sell it in a set. So this little crystal diamond comes with a crystal bar as well as five gold and five silver um, magnets. So depending on what you're doing, you can use either the individual diamond or the crystal bar. Okay, so with our mat, really make sure you give it a good shake. If you're noticing it's not coming out very matte and kind of has a sheen satin look to it. And here we go. We are very proud of our mat. We've won three awards for it. We, and that is definitely one reason why we will not switch our formula because we are very happy with it. So really making sure I'm covering all areas because if you don't, you're going to see a little bit of shine to the nail, especially if it's around the cuticle area or sidewalls. Sometimes I didn't quite get up there high enough and you can see a little outline, a rim of the shine around the cuticle area. So let's do that one for a full 60 seconds. And now we're going to use our super shiny, no white top coat. So all of our top coats, as well as our gel polish, all um, needs a 60 second cure. Okay, so let's put that one in there. Got about 20 more seconds left of the matte top coat and then we're going to reveal it. So with our matte top coat, it does have a slight inhibition layer that you will need to remove after it's fully cured. So I would recommend to just maybe allowing that the mat to kind of cool after it comes out of the LED lamp before wiping as well. So you want to let that cool before you remove the inhibition layer. Okay, I think we're good. So you guys can see it's still got that shiny look to it. We're gonna wipe off the inhibition layer just with lint-free wipe. I'm just using a paper towel. I'm just gonna hold this because it's not staying on very good. You guys can see. 
So when, when you wipe it, I'm wearing gloves now, I highly recommend just applying it and pulling straight down so that we're not rubbing that uncured gel all over the client's skin. But it's okay, I can touch it because I've got gloves on. Okay, so there is the mat. Now let's wait until the no wipe is done so we can compare the two. And the nice thing about our mat is it's so soft. It feels so soft. All right, here we go. Let's take a peek. That one should be done. I'm just gonna turn off my lamp. And here's our shiny no wipe and our mat. So you can see how it's extremely matte. There's no shine to it compared to our no wipe. So all you wanna do is really make sure that you give your matte bottle a really good shake if it's been sitting for too long. Because I know, you know, typically if I don't have, you know, a lot of customers um, or clients that want the mats, my mat goes unused for maybe a couple months, for example. So if it's sitting for, you know, a few weeks on end, just make sure you give it a good shake. Does anybody have any questions for me while I'm on? Anything that maybe I have missed? I do apologize. If you guys do have any questions in regards to our products, please make sure that you reach out to us directly. You can email us at contact.uglyduckling at gmail.com if you have any questions. It's really important to us that if you do, we're here to offer our help. Because sometimes if any posts are being posted through support groups, social media groups, we don't necessarily always see them unless someone tags us to them. So we are always here if you need any guidance. Okay. That is it for today. Just a reminder that our office is closed for a week and we will be reopening on August 17th for shipping out your products. I'm just reading a comment here now joining, but what base do you use on the nail? So basically what I just did today was I was just showing the difference between our no wipe top coat and our matte top coat. I used one of our new colors from our summer release, number 171. I just applied that gel polish directly over top of our tapered square tippies. I didn't actually buff the surface of the tips when I applied for a swatch. But when you're applying gel polish over a natural nail, you'll want to make sure that you pair it with our natural base, which is an excellent base coat or our builder base, which is our new, one of our newer bases, which can be used to um, create an extension of the nail as well as make it the nail more uniform and have a nice shape to it. If you're applying gel polish over, an, over top of an enhancement, we suggest that you don't buff it very smooth because if you do, the gel polish won't adhere and you'll find that it will chip and peel off. So we recommend using a 180 grit file and or a medium grit sanding band if you prefer to use an e-file. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.